welcome to The Rich Report, a podcast with news and information on the world of startups. Today, my guest is from a company called Shopkeep. We have Jason Richelson. He's the CEO and founder of the company. So, Jason, welcome to the show today. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Well, Jason, you know, I, I've, I've seen some point of sale systems similar to this, but I'm real curious as to how your solution works. So why don't we start with your slides and then we'll follow that with the Q&A. Sounds good. Shopkeep POS, I'm on the first page, um, is a cloud-based point-of-sale system, and we use iPads as the registers, or essentially the front end. Um, let's go on to the second slide, and let me tell you a little bit about how we uh, got started. Um, in this slide, you'll see uh, a picture of uh, uh, my gourmet grocery store in Brooklyn. Um, I actually had a wine store, uh, a, a second wine store, and then a gourmet grocery store that I opened in Brooklyn. Um, and over the course of uh, seven or eight years uh, of running that business, I kept running into all kinds of problems with my point of sale system. And <clears throat> the number one problem for me was that I'm not in all three of my stores at the same time. And the only way for me to get information out of my systems, like how many sales I did, you know, top selling items, was to go to the server uh, and run a report. And that's really annoying when you're growing to multiple locations. Um, and it was really started to drive me crazy. But then what happened was um, in 2008 is we started having some servers start to fail. And um, at that point, I was like, you know what, we need to switch to a better system. Um, and that's where I came up with uh, the idea for Shopkeep. You know, some of the reasons that um, old school point of sale were, it is a problem. There's still, most of the world is still using old school point of sale. Um, is, you know, there's a couple, you know, you can see on this page, you know, servers or the network's down. Uh, you're not ringing up sales because it's an online only system. The, the registers have to have a server connected to it. No remote reporting, as I said. A lot of these systems are so complicated to learn um, and upgrade and teach your staff. It's just, you know, they're built, they were built 20 or 30 years ago, um, well, 20 years ago. And, um, you know, Microsoft RMS was one that I was using in my store. Um, the upfront costs for those systems are expensive because they have to be installed, you have to buy a database, you have to buy a server, you have to get all the networking working. Um, old school UI, there's no add-ons or integrations with things unless you want to get it custom built. Um, you know, integration with card processing, depending on the system, was difficult. And one of the big things was poor customer support. Um, a lot of these systems get installed by a value at a reseller um, who intends well, but eventually they have to go on and sell their next customer and install their next customer. And they're not always answering the phone all the time if you have problems or you have questions. So <clears throat> basically, if we go into the next slide, slide four, I basically, all those problems, I came up with the idea that we needed to build a cloud-based point of sale. I was already using all these cloud tools um, like uh, 37 Signals, uh, Basecamp, and Google Docs for our company as in QuickBooks Online. And I was like, well, let's get a, let's move to a cloud point of sale. And I wasn't having any luck finding any, so I decided it was time to build one. Um, so what I wanted to build was from the ground up, build a point of sale platform for small retailers that uh, was built with the internet and cloud computing in mind, um, but was a fully functioning point of sale system. It was important for us that it was super easy to get it up and running and started so that almost any retailer could do it themselves. Um, it had to be totally redundant. So if the internet wasn't working or our cloud servers were not working, you're still ringing up sales no matter what. Um, and it was important to me that by using cloud technology and by consolidating the um, the brain power of the engineers that we have here and the data scientists, that we are able to take your regular sales information and help you by feeding you back information to help you run a better store. Um, and that by in, in running a better store, I mean making smarter decisions on how you run your business, you know, through better data. Um, and then the last bullet on here, which is super important to me, is customer care. And we're here seven days a week. You know, people love the fact that as an owner of a coffee shop, if you're not working on the weekends, your cashiers have an 800 number to call if, you know, they can't get the printer to print or, you know, they have a question about how to ring something up. You know, we're here to answer questions. And that's part of your monthly fee with Shopkeep. So let's go on to page five. Um, <clears throat> excuse me. So 
Shopkeep is a cloud-based point of sale, um, like I said, and uh, it's super easy to ring up sales and it's super easy to train your employees. Basically, what we're seeing is that no one um, – it basically there's no training involved. I mean, we keep it super simple. Um, and you know, for instance, we we ran all the registers at the Telluride Film Festival, 14 registers uh, last year, and it took me 30 minutes to train 40 people um, to ring up, you know, popcorn, coffee, and candy for uh, all the movies at the Telluride Film Festival. It was super easy. Um, smarter by giving you you know good data to explain what's going on in your store. Uh, convenient, which means real-time access to sales on the go through our dashboard app or otherwise uh, through the web browser. And helpful, we want to be there. Customer care is always available. It's always part of your monthly fee. There's no extra add-on fees as, as for that type of feature. Um, in the next slide, um, you can basically see some of the basic features, um, and I won't go through all of them, but we have full uh, capability to ring up sales, track sales tax, track your cash drawer, um, your petty cash that runs through your cash drawer. We pop the cash drawer, we print receipts, and, and do everything needed. And we just recently added the ability to track customers, gather email addresses, and send email receipts. Go to the next slide, um, and you'll see that we also have on the back end um, inventory management where you create your items, you can manage your items, you can manage inventory, dollar value, um, quantity on hand. Um, you can set triggers to let you know when you need to reorder. Uh, we do have a smartphone sort of web view that lets you walk around your store and, and update your inventory from your uh, iPhone or Android phone. And we also do track raw goods inventory. So if you create items that are created by, you know, for instance, the sandwich, um, you can track the underlying uh, inputs to that sandwich, whether it's, you know, ham, bread, cheese, et cetera. Clear Insight Reports is um, sort of our brand name for our reporting. It's, um, you know, basically it's just important to put front and center in front of uh, a retail owner or manager the important information that they need to know. And it, it's so simple. It, it, a good example is uh, if you see that the dashboard app on the iPhone there in that picture, just having that in your pocket and refreshing it throughout the day every day as an owner of the store, you get a really good picture of how am I doing. You know, just knowing, you know, usually on Tuesday afternoons, we're doing a lot more than this. You know, I wonder what's going on. Um, just having that access to that data by just hitting refresh is super, super valuable to any retailer. So uh, controls and security we have, uh, you know, in ShopKeep, compared to other products you might have seen out in the market, um, um, we are designed and built for retailers. And by that, I mean an owner um, basically can set up ShopKeep and give access to cashiers or store managers, et cetera. Uh, a lot of products you'll see on the market are designed um, and, and, you know, like Square or Intuit Go Payments um, or PayPal here, it is designed so that the owner is actually the one ringing up the customer because um, you can't use those products in a retail store because if I'm running my coffee shop, um, I'm not going to give, for instance, my Square login and password to my cashiers but that's what you have to do with those products. They were not designed for um, operations where you have, you know, cashiers or, or managers or other employees using the same system. Shopkeep is a full uh, solution. We are a full service provider for retailers. So that means not only do we provide you with this awesome software service and great customer care, but we also sell you all the hardware that you need. And we promise that it's going to work with our software and we promise to support it. Um, because we've designed our software to work with those hardware pieces. So whether it's receipt printers, cash drawers, we also have all these great stands for your iPad, um, barcode scanners. You can get everything you need from us, including uh, credit card processing if you wish to use us or you want to use others. Um, you know, we have many different kinds of customers that use ShopKeep, uh, new merchants. Uh, we do get a lot of new merchants. We do have some multiple location merchants, and we have a few, few features for those people. Um, you know, merchants who are expanding, I mean, the great thing about a cloud point of sale, and, you know, we have the Bean here in New York. He's got three, two locations opening a third. He can't be in all his locations, but he can open a web browser at any time and see what he's doing in, in every location. Um, we're approaching 2,000 merchants across the country using ShopKeep, and uh, we're growing very fast now. Uh, we recently had a pretty exciting announcement with PayPal. 
Uh, we've partnered with PayPal to allow you to pay at the register with your smartphone. Um, and that's currently sort of in a pilot here in New York City where uh, you can go to the Bean or the Green Grape Annex in Brooklyn, uh, check in with your PayPal app on your phone, and your picture will show up on, the, on our iPad registers. Uh, then you just have to say, I want to pay with PayPal, and the cashier sees your picture, hits the PayPal button, and you get charged for that transaction uh, without having to exchange anything. Uh, it's really cool. Um, it's working very well here. We just started that uh, last week on Thursday, um, and ex an exciting thing that we hope to soon roll out to all our retailers. Um, so that's basically it. I'm going to the last slide, and um, you know, Shopkeep is uh, another thing that I want to mention about Shopkeep uh, on this last slide is one of the things that's important to us is to give our uh, uh, retailers and merchants choices. Um, the PayPal integration is a good example of that. It's it's adding another payment method to Shopkeep for our retailers to choose. They already have the option to choose whoever they want to use for card processing. Now they can use PayPal. Uh, next week at Coffee Fest, we're announcing our first integration with a loyalty provider, um, and we intend to add multiple options for retailers. We really want to be the foundation for retailers, um, the platform to run their store, and give them options to use whoever they want to use for add-on add -on products, et cetera. So that's my presentation, and I'm happy to answer any questions you might have. Well, well thanks for that, Jason. You know, I, I love this story. I mean, you're a shop owner with a problem and you're frustrated with the solutions out there and you go and start a company that's a very different kind of business model. Uh, did you have an IT background or friends or h how did you pull that uh, off? Yeah, I have a very important thing for an uh, entrepreneur, which is I'm not afraid to fail. Um, so I, I, I have, I'm missing some gene that, that makes me be f fearful. But um, I did actually, I mean, um, I've done a lot of different things, but I did actually have a payments uh, startup back in 1999 uh, that I started as one of the four co-founders after working at PricewaterhouseCoopers in technology. So I have definitely some technology um, understanding. I'm more of a product guy. I'm not an engineer. I don't write code, but um, I interface very well with uh, engineers. And, and that's worked out for Shopkeep very well because I also understand how you ring up customers. I understand what it means when your point of sale is down and you don't know what the prices are because you don't put prices on your products. You usually scan them. You know, I, I understand what it means to have a register run slow and a customer is in front of you and very upset that they can't leave right away and pay. You know, so I understand sort of a lot of the dynamics as well as I understand, you know, for instance, on the back end, what it means for the bookkeeper not to be able to very easily get the sales tax um, reporting out of their system so that they can file their sales tax on time and not get fined. You know, I, I really understand all sort of the the workflows of a small retailer, even up to large retailers. And, and now I'm making sure that our system makes everyone's life easier. That's that's terrific. So 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 Jason, I mean, uh, you know, using the cloud as you do, uh, it would seem you're kind of far away from these folks, though, right? I mean, do you work with channels or partners that are more uh, traditional kinds of point of sale uh, dealers, or do you just go direct? We do. So I mean, most of our business is absolutely direct, um, but we do have two different channel programs. One is for um, sort of uh, value-added resellers, guys who are already out there selling uh, point-of-sale systems. Um, they already know the business, and we are in, we allow them to sell an upfront license to Shopkeep for uh, half a year, um, so that they can earn some money on that. Um, we also have a separate program for. Um, these uh, uh, ISOs are independent sales organizations that are out selling credit card processing. Um, we, since we work with all credit card processing companies, um, we do have a program for them to also sell Shopkeep as well. So, and that's actually working out really well because a lot of those guys um, who sell card processing, um, they generally need some sort of a way to swipe the card. And instead of putting in an old school Verifone terminal, um, their customers are asking for iPad point of sales, as you can imagine. You know, Square is doing a wonderful job of educating the market. Um, so a lot of retailers are asking when the ca credit card salesman comes in and says, here's you know, credit, the best credit card rates you can get. And the retailer says, well, I want to swipe on an iPad. And now these guys have something that they can offer. So um, we definitely have those channels right now, and as well as direct sign up online and, and download the app, and you're and you're good to go. 
So great, you know, kind of a wrap up question here, Jason. I, I just got a phone call from my bank and they had said they're sending me a new card because uh, they had a security breach, right? And I'm, mm-hmm. I'm really intrigued about your PayPal. Do you see that as kind of the future of uh, the way we do transactions or something like that? Or what do you think? I think I, I, I love the PayPal integration. I think it's pretty exciting. Um, I think it's going to be very hard um, to get cards to go away. Um, Ten years ago, there was, you know, I was in the payment space and all the talk was about how credit cards are going away and no one's going to use, or no one's going to use cash is going away. Everyone's going to use credit card and online systems with PayPal, but credit cards are not going away. So where the trend is moving to, which is what Shopkeep is uh, doing and a lot of, a lot of people are doing is encrypting the card swipe uh, in the hardware. Um, when we take credit card swipes through Shopkeep, it gets encrypted in a piece of hardware made by Magtech. So we actually, our iPad app does not even, can't even read a credit card. It doesn't get the data. It sends this totally encrypted blob of information off to our PCI compliant card processor, which is a separate company than us, um, and they can decrypt it and send back an authorization code. So we stay completely out of the the credit card processing. We don't touch any credit cards. We're essentially a reporting system. Um, So so we stay out of that, um, and and that's where the industry is going. You're going to see um, even people with old-fashioned point-of-sale systems are going to eventually be forced to upgrade to do um, hardware encryption uh, of the card swipes. That will help a lot with that. but I do see paying with PayPal, um, paying with uh, your phone through check-in as really exciting, and not only because of the fraud, but also because of all the loyalty um, things that can be done when you know you know more information about your customer through the payments. So whether it's deals or discounts or just sort of loyalty you know, um, coupons that you can get by paying with the same payment method, um, that's where I see a lot of cool stuff happening. Well, terrific. Well, Jason, uh, I want to thank you once again for coming on the show today. No problem. You bet. You bet. Okay, folks, that's it for the Rich Report. Stay tuned for more news and information on the world of startups.